University, but they gave me five minutes, and uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to go the limit, because uh, I'm uh, really glad to be here. Uh, you know, it takes a lot to make this thing happen today. Uh, the, PA, the PA system is working, and uh, that's yeah. always good. You know, it's show business today, and you can't take anything for granted, so good job there. <laughs> And congratulations to the mighty state of Montana for all it gives us. This university is a beacon. It's a beacon of what the citizens feel about higher learning, higher principles. And I'm probably like all of you, I'm very grateful for what it gave me. And, and I'm proud that my nephew is getting to go here now. That's so right. going on. And Congratulations to all the people that are taking pride in what they do. You give MSU students a lifelong set of shared values and a commitment to learning all through their lives. And who would have thought that shared values would become a kind of rare commodity these days, but it seems to be the case. Now, I'm a sucker for a good story. And maybe that's why I do what I, I do, but I, I like to imagine things. And in my mind today, we're all part of a common story, the graduation day story. And it'll be something you'll all talk about afterwards. It has a beginning, maybe we're in the kind of early middle stage now, and then it'll arrive at some kind of honorable resolution eventually. <laughs> Hopefully, but I think a big part of that story has something to do with shared values and how if we remind ourselves of those values every once in a while, we can feel more secure in how we function in this world that has a fair share of conflicts. And I like a story with a metaphor I'm a college graduate, you know, and uh, I'm wanting to look like I deserve the honorary doctorate, so <laughs> metaphor. And graduation day, you know, it can be viewed as a journey on an airplane. It taxis, we're told to relax and enjoy ourselves, and maybe, you know, it takes off and we get some rough air, and then in almost all cases, it lands. And in this metaphor, there, there are some shared values, some things that allow everybody on the plane to arrive safely at their destination. And like any story worth its salt, graduation day has some rough air. There's probably some fear for your future, for our future. Everything's just changing so fast in technology and how we perceive truth. And in this year that you are graduating, you have a lot of adults that are in meltdown about how our country is running. And others insisting they aren't in meltdown while claiming to be running the country. <laughs> and I'm sorry, uh, but I wish it wasn't part of your graduation story, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> and how do we get to feel secure when you're moving about in a world that has become so unpredictable? And let's get back to that metaphor of the airplane. Uh, if you pay attention, there's a solid set of basic shared values to prepare us for rough air ahead, and now I, because I love props. I brought a prop. It's the safety information card from an airplane. <laughs> it has practical information, but it also has a kind of code of values underneath all that safety stuff. And if you really listen closely, it, it, it's there to help you feel more secure on the plane. Number one. Stow your items under the seat in front of you and keep all areas cleared. Okay, think about it. We all have baggage. 
Some of us, a lot of baggage. Just don't leave it around for other people to stumble over. That's a shared value. I think we can all agree. Number two, make sure that your seatbelt is fastened and adjust, adjust the strap so it's low and tight around your waist. This isn't a fashion statement. I don't think we're in the 70s anymore. But it means that when things get bumpy, you want to make sure you react with your head and your heart and you neutralize your animal instincts to scream and flee. <laughs> Lock it down. <laughs> That's a good idea. And then finally, the shared value number three, it's unlikely, but if the cabin pressure changes, the panels open revealing oxygen masks. Adjust your own mask before helping others. Okay, <laughs> metaphor. There will be pressures on you that can suddenly change. And before reacting, be sure to take a breath and do that before you try to control everybody else's breathing. <laughs> so there's three basic values anyway we could share. We don't leave any baggage around, don't give in to fear, and keep breathing. And it's all in here. This airline safety information card is both a metaphor and it's, it's a real thing and values that can keep you safe. Guess what? You graduates today, you're getting the MSU Safety Information Card. Yes, <laughs> with your diploma. Okay, maybe you won't get a printed copy of it. Uh, we've gone green. I don't want to waste paper. Anyway, it's kind of a metaphorical card, I guess, of shared values. <laughs> after having come through this education process here at Montana State University. And the good news is the Montana MSU Safety Information Card of Shared Values, though it's virtual, it's a little more nuanced than the airplane one, and it should be because you paid a little bit more for it. <laughs> and I think it's useful in a broader range of circumstances. Because I think at MSU, you learned, all of you, to share something about tolerance. How to be tolerant of a range of opinions. That's a really important shared value in these times. And I think you've learned how to be both humbled and challenged by truths. Real truths that are shared by visionaries who have gone before. And truths that are shared by the faculty and the staff that you experienced here. And I'm sorry that the world is going to continue to get disrupted for a while, I think, and it's going to shake to its core, but one way that you'll get some security is by knowing that you share the highest principles of what it is to be human. And you share that with others connected to this university, and you're going to need that metaphorical MSU shared values card. It's a good one. I did say metaphorical. I can feel President Kusad behind me going, what's Hollywood telling him that we're going to give him something? We don't have this one. <laughs> metaphorical. Metaphorical. By the way, I think anybody has a gold star on their shared value card. <laughs> President <laughs> So today, the story of your graduation will continue, and as you prepare for takeoff, please relax and enjoy your flight. I hope you have a very rich day with a good, good ending. But now, in tweaking the words of a pseudo-president in a sci-fi movie, I have to instruct you about something. You will not go quietly into this night! Because today